iguana. You talk. <laughs> We were a bunch of pieces in a puzzle. We either friends and collective groups or um, you know, we were doing our own thing or like we had no part at all and we were just in a in, in another club or another organization and we randomly stumbled upon each other. Being a Latino from uh, urban America is hard to surround yourself with those kind of individuals that are motivated. Where I'm from, like I'm a first generation Dominican American, like I'm the first in my family to go to the university. So, being at ESU, I was exposed to that kind of um, environment with the people in my chapter. Bringing a, the first um, Latino organization to campus was a huge huge step, a huge footprint um, in the history of the school. Um, and I was, I'm was i actually a part of that, you know, and it feels it feels amazing. Um, my first my first reason why, why? Because I, in my mind, I heard fraternity, I'm like, okay, I have networking opportunities. You know, when I leave school, I'll have more opportunities to, you know, better my career. You know, I didn't expect, I didn't expect the, the, the family that I gained. I, I didn't expect to, to gain, you know, not only family, but like real blood. In five to ten years, I see Maguana being something far more uh, reaching far beyond the constraints of university and college uh, organization, being something more professional, something like a firm, something uh, more professional in terms of investing in real estate, investing in different businesses, something that we can have in the organization to bring us more wealth and prosperity in the future. I was actually a very, very shy guy, very anti-social before all of this. And now, <laughs> I sit here and perform on stage in front of everybody. I just came back from Florida in North Carolina, which I was on stage performing in front of hundreds of people. And before, if I look back a couple years ago, I would have never thought that I would be on stage doing this. I love the frat. The frat was the main thing. When I first came here, you know, somebody came up to me, told me about it. I didn't really know anything about it. So when you're curious about stuff, you tend to want to, you know, go with the flow and kind of just, you know, try it out. So, and then I met those amazing guys. They became to be, you know, more than just people that I knew on campus. They became, you know, my actual, you know, family. I majored as an undergrad with Spanish and I was very interested in getting involved in Greek life. And once I saw about LSU, but not just LSU, when I saw about Maguana here at East Stroudsburg, I became very interested in it and ended up becoming a brother of something that I didn't think would be as great as it is. Every fraternity, every sorority always has the same goals, you know, academic excellence, brotherhood, sisterhood, whatever. But we tend to go beyond that. When you think about it, you know, before, before a stone becomes a stone, it's, it's lava, you know, it has different levels, it has different temperatures. However, when it like, when lava when lava starts to, to, to get colder and colder and it starts coming together, it fits perfectly. You know what I mean? It creates it creates a masterpiece.